Good morning. Good morning, everyone. We're super excited because we're together for a fantastic Friday. I'm not sure where I'm looking at it because I'm over here. It's kind of weird, different setup. You know, everyone gets used to their own things. But good morning, everyone. It is Fantabulous Friday. Carol Sue, a.k.a. Naughty Boss, live right next to two sisters. Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Janice, a.k.a. Wellness Diva 5.0. Yes, today is Friday, August the 19th. <laughs> and did you know that it's National Mughead Day? Um, I'm sorry, no. National Dog Day. I did hear that. I got an alert. I, again, did not, you know really want to look at alerts but that was one of the alerts that came up they got a national for everything yes so they do it's a little overplayed i think yes yeah, so, you know who would think that the dogs would have a day i mean every day they have their day especially in this household they are spoiled rotten we they have are. two little ones uh giovanni aka mr squiggle butts and Armani, who's technically the monster, he re, he now obviously responds to the monster. His actual name is Armani, but <laughs> the poor dog. Yeah, he's yeah, because he's a little holy terror, and they're yeah, really calm the yeah, monster. he gets a little grouchy sometimes. You know, you go to pet him, and there's a nice side to him, and all of a sudden he. Rawr. Oh, I know. He can be the most uh, adorable, lovable little lap dog, and then two seconds later, he wants to literally rip your face off. So yeah, he's. He's a monster. Well, I think a lot of people <laughs> probably have one of those pets. I don't, I, neither one of our cats is a monster. They both have their separate personalities. One lives to eat and one eats to live. Uh, it's just kind of their mantra, but um, they're very, I would say docile to a certain extent. Yeah. Yeah. So now everyone knows <laughs> if you've seen both of us in person that I am a tad taller than Carol Sue. However, she is on a lower seat and I am on a little bit of a higher seat. That is true. I'm not so that short. <laughs> I was just looking at thinking, and then, you know, people might think, oh my God, what's going on with them? So just yeah, wanted to. I'm more like here. Yeah. I'm, one, a, I'm a low seat. One of these days I'm going to go into invest in one of those. Uh, I have one of the ones that goes up and down and I do like it. Yeah. This, but I'm so used to being at a certain height now that I even find that I'll sit Indian style, which I could probably do here. And I put my yeah. leg and that puts me up a little bit. Then my knee bothered me. So, and so much for that. And it's not good for your hips. No, it's not good for your hips or your posture. We were learning all about posture. I was investigating balls, the um, rubber type, type type of ball that you use with exercise and that you could actually have right here at your desk and bounce while you're doing the podcast. But then you would probably make me dizzy. <laughs> well, here's the thing with that. And, and I have done that quite a few times. And there have been times where I'm, you know, do 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 bouncing around and typing. And then for whatever reason, boom. So I um, have to make sure that I'm sitting in a chair. As in, I think that chair is very uncomfortable, but, you know, yeah, it's so my I, office chair. I'm so used to it. Yeah, you, get used um, to it. <laughs> you know, one of these days, we'll see. I get one of those fancies, you know, with the uh, the back massager. and. You know, uh, be, it would be too relaxing that I wouldn't get anything done. It'd be like, oh, it's like I got my own spa right here. Although it might not be a bad thing. Just have to know when to turn it on. Right. Turn it exactly. So what is fantabulous with you? Fantabulous with me is obviously I'm up north. Uh, it's a little bit chillier, chillier than down south, obviously, but it felt good. Flight, Avello Airlines, great uh, experience as always. Uh, second time I've been, I use them and uh, first time for Johnny to use them. So the runway at Tweed, uh, for those that know, Tweed is a smaller airport and their runway is shorter. So therefore, when you land, you have to go to a certain uh, angle and you feel it a little bit differently than you would if it was longer. Nothing scary at all. But I forgot to mention that to John. So of course, they're announcing it as we're about to land. And he's like, what is going on? I'm like, you'll be fine. Um, but yeah, it was a cool flight. Good to be up north and um, going to be visiting a lot of people, relatives, friends. Uh, it'll be a, it'll be a good time. Yeah, we're obviously looking forward to seeing some friends this evening, mm -hmm. and that's always fantabulous, you know, to catch up with everyone and, and you know see how everyone is doing. And you know, as we go forward in the next week, I will obviously. And we'll have to talk about our schedule because yes. you will be traveling still a well, lot yes, next week. Yes. I'm traveling. 
Um, so we so may we, have to coordinate yeah, that. We, we do have one guest next week on Wednesday. Okay, so maybe we'll maybe we'll just be doing it on Wednesday. We haven't really figured yeah, done. Haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> I do know. Actually, speaking of Wednesday, next Wednesday, I uh, will be at where, where are we going? Sturbridge um, Village. Uh, they are doing a like a school presentation or whatever. So the kids are participating. I don't know what time that starts, but I want to say maybe 9.30-ish. So what, our guess is what, eight? They, I can look right now. I think the it's cool eight. Stuff up, it's fine, you can figure this stuff out. Uh, yes, 8 a.m. Yeah. Next Wednesday. So, so that might be able to work. Uh, but you know, that's the good thing about what we do is we're, we're flexible. We can meet each other's needs as, you know, uh, conflicts come up because they do less life, right? But Fantabulous Friday is the day that we celebrate you. We want to celebrate your accomplishments, what you got going on and what you completed on your list. Because we always talk about always prioritizing what you've got to get done and do not underestimate the power of the little goals. The little goals are paramount because they're the stepping stones to get to those bigger goals, right? Yeah. And, you know, when you think of, you know, stepping over stones or whether it's walking upstairs, now, depending on what type of a challenge or a goal <coughs> that I am trying to meet will depend if I'm looking at stairs or, you know, stepping stones. I don't know why that is. It's just kind of how my uh, brain operates and no funny comments from the uh, peanut gallery, of course, but, you know, every shuddy <laughs> shuddy everyone everyone is different but you know however you choose to do it and you know it really you know it took me quite a few years um to realize that because I am a very visual person so <laughs> when I have a goal in mind I think okay is this going to be a staircase right is, you know that type of thing so that works for me. What works for you? You know, I, I think for everyone, we're all different. You know, we always talk about that. We look different. Our gut health is different. Our mindset is different. So we need to accommodate what we need. And sadly, because we live in a world where it's instant gratification, notifications, alerts coming up to yang yang, who's doing what, who's where, influencers, non-influencers, keeping up with the Joneses, Joneses, it's too much. So that's where you really have to focus and keep your mindset on point to your needs, what works for you, because what works for her is not going to work for me. And the same thing for all of you out there. So that's why we, we love that we add value to different aspects of what can contribute to your day of success. You get a day of success. Guess what? It leads them to two days, three days before you know it, you got a week of success. So don't, while yes, you want to plan, obviously, for longer term goals, uh, you know, time sensitive goals, you also want to be mindful of the short term goals and the little goals, because they are all, again, pieces of the ultimate big piece, which is to get to mm -hmm. uh, a, a great uh, road of journey that leads you to the ultimate goal, because guess what, there's another journey right around the corner waiting for you to tackle. It, it sure is. And, you know, as I mentioned, I am a visual aid person and with, you know, for instance, you know, traveling next week, I'm, you know, trying to make sure that, you know, everything is nice and organized and that I have what I need. Um, that <laughs> typically will stress me out to a certain degree, which, which is understandable because I'll be in a car for six hours with two dogs and a husband. Uh, Nick, you don't need to explain any further. Uh, yeah, I don't need to explain it any further. And there would have been a bird, but I put a kibosh. Oh, my God. They was actually thinking about taking the bird. Oh, oh he, Lordy. Well, he casually mentioned, oh, yeah. And, you know, you know, I got to have the two crates for the dogs and, and the bird. And, and I'm like, whoa. What? Well, what do you think? We have to take the bird with us. I'm like, oh, no, we are not taking the bird no. with us. It's not no. happening. No. Birds can survive quite a long, long time. And his cousin's going to come in and right. check so, on the yeah. birds. So they eat seed every day. Yeah. They, yeah. yeah. They'll pop in every day yeah, and just so, you know, bring yeah. the mail in, check yeah. on the bird. And yeah, I would not be taking a bird yeah. with the dogs in a car for six hours. Well, yeah. And then, uh, of course, my stepson, Brett, has 
two rather large dogs. So oh, that's gonna be fun in the sun. <sighs> lots of mug heads. Yep, and lots of mug heads to celebrate mug head day for today. But yeah, you know, whatever your goals are, you just want to make sure that you have that conversation with yourself, right? Who does that? We all do it. You are the best accountability partner that you can ever have because you know whether you're going to be truthful you know when you're going to be faking it you know when you're going to be uh probably skimming out what you're actually supposed to do so friday is the day that you do celebrate even if this is the key piece even if you didn't totally get everything done that you wanted to because we know life has derailments the alerts you know the non-stop oh my god i forgot this you know the kids doctor's appointments so or the kids got uh you know Oh my God, he, he's got to get to, to the doctors because we, we need that physical because sports are coming up because school is starting. Well, actually in the South uh, and Florida schools already started, but Northeast, had, it has not. Kids are getting off to colleges. You've got a lot of emotions going on, especially I've never seen, this is one thing I noticed over the last, probably the last two weeks. And it's been going on all month, but obviously when the, when the timeline narrows to when that parent is going to take their child to college, and I, you know, it just must be that, you know, a ton of them uh, from all over the United States that I'm seeing that those those moms really tug at their hearts. Mm -hmm. Their dads are tugging at their hearts because they're letting, and it's, you know, their firstborn go off to that big milestone, which is college. Uh, and it's tough for them. So you've got all these, you know, you've got emotional things in that, you know, so you, you talk about that where they've been in your home for so long. <clears throat> then you talk about that, that parent that mom or dad, that single parent that may be having that child first go to school. Maybe they're starting kindergarten, preschool. So you've got all these emotions going on, preparation for school clothes, their supplies, you know, different things going on. And then you realize, my gosh, I scheduled myself, but I didn't get anything done for me. And that's the key point. You have to keep scheduling yourself. But besides scheduling, you got to do what you say you're going to do. So even if you attempted it, say you want, oh, it's going to get an hour working every day, and maybe you accomplish it a couple of days out of the week, and then the rest were like 15-minute workouts, 30-minute workouts, do not discount them. The fact that you showed up and you recognize that, you know what, I'm not going to be able to get everything done that I said, but I'm still going to show up, I'm st still going to get something in, you want to celebrate that. And that's where you have that conversation in the mirror and say, mm, I didn't get everything done, but so what? There's always next week. I know I can do it. I'm going to pat myself on the back because I'm proud that I actually accomplished what I did considering all the derailments. You know? Right. And that's really important to recognize that. And, you know, those internal dialogues that we typically have with ourselves on a daily basis, you know, obviously always remember to be gentle and kind with yourself and know that, you know, those goals are achievable. Maybe you have to rework them. And that's all, you know, that's all in a day's work, right? You know, it, it's so easy to say that, but, you know, <laughs> I always go back to, and I don't, and I don't know who said this, but um, it was a quote or something to the effect that, you know, if it's that important to you, you'll make time for it. So I always I like remind myself of that. And again, I'm not sure who said that. Um, I am not taking credit for it, but I always think of that quote and I'm like, and you could actually use that quote in a lot of different ways. Mm -hmm. uh, it could apply to, you know, what you need to get done. But we know because of, you know, people going in different directions, you know, different directions, maybe with school, work, vision, goals, uh, whatever you do for a living. Gosh, it could apply to, to a thousand different things. So, you know, I always say, and again, goes in the same line of quote that you were talking about. Everyone has the same 24 hours in the day. We all do. Put your energy where you're going to find the most reward because at the end of the day, you may, especially being, being, being both entrepreneurs, we realize that everyone, not everyone's going to cheer you on. Not everyone's going to say, go get it. You're reinventing yourself. You're trying something that you haven't done. And we encourage everyone to do that. You are beholden only to yourself. And everyone has the same 24 hours. So if you're reaching out to people or you've got relationships that are maybe also uh, kind of distracting you from what you really want to accomplish, remember your efforts 
You're only accountable for your effort in anything. And just like you, they have the same 24 hours to connect with you. They have the same day that they could, you know, send you a little note or uh, a little bit of achievement, but don't, you know, achievement, uh, congratulations, whatever it may be, but don't get, don't dwell on it if they don't, uh, cause you're not in control of them. There's only two things that we're in control of how we act mm -hmm. and how someone and, and how we react to somebody else. But everyone does have the same 24 hours. We all have that, that same, that same time period. It's just a matter of how you utilize it. So you want to celebrate everything that you've accomplished, despite even the derailments, just despite the disappointments, because that happens and you can't, you can't change it for it, life. It does. It does happen. Chate happens, mm -hmm. but the greatest of shifts happen when you allow yourself that time to complete something. And remember, you don't need anybody's permission to do so. Mm -hmm. And no is a complete sentence, does not need any explanation. And it's true. And I think a lot of people have a hard time saying no. No in, uh, no, I'm not going to extend myself further. I mm -hmm. think we're, we, we, especially when we're guilty of that. Also say, no, I've, I've uh, initiated certain things and uh, it's not reciprocal. So that's okay. I've decided I'm not going to allow myself, the answer is no, to put myself in that situation again. Uh, you, you know, you have the power to really enlighten and surround yourself with people that have that same spirit that you have. Um, same vibe that you have, same passion, same positivity. You do not, you do have the ability to say, no, you know what? It doesn't fit into my life anymore. Maybe it's a workout. Maybe it's people. Maybe it's a gym. Maybe it's a doctor. You have the power to say, you know, it just doesn't fit me anymore. I'm going to go out and try something new, or I'm going to collaborate and surround myself with people that, you know, I vibe with, or, you know, what? I don't like, ah, you know, the doctor told me this. And, you know, I questioned him and he got all indignant. I want to partner with my healthcare physician. I don't want to like struggle to ask questions. These are all little goals that we set for ourselves that we want to make sure that they're really uh, um, partnering with who we are. And I think a lot of times people have a hard time with that. And that's part of that goal list. That's part of your whole journey. So you have to know when to say no, but also know when to say yes. Or be open to a yes, because it may be a yes that you don't know about. That is correct. And sometimes that yes is filled with, holy crap, am I even considering this? Mm -hmm. Like there is such a great fear sometimes. And those, those types of fears for me are very real. And when, when I get the, I call it the butterfly flash, because I feel it just in my body. I feel it in my gut, like it's kind of like, zzz, then I know, okay, this is scary. It's unknown, but that's kind of what my, um, what I'm feeling and how I move forward. Like, I know it's the right thing to do. May not know the direct path, but I know the journey. So, and I think everyone has that you mm -hmm. have an internal, uh, kind of an internal mechanism that, you know, either impacts your brain, your heart, your gut. And a lot of times we ignore <laughs> it because we think of, mm, I don't know. And the I don't know is the part that that's when you, you want to discern it. When you start to say, I don't know, that's usually when you have to say, oh, I better, because it is leading you subconsciously or indirectly without your even knowledge, because we always talk about thoughts have energy and that energy is probably shifting you mm -hmm. to somewhere that you're really supposed to be at. So, you know, keep that in mind. Those are things to celebrate. Really be intentional with your insides. Not only your gut health, we talk about that, we talk about your mindset, but also your internal thought process because those are actually sending out energy. And if it's always about positivity, your goals, where you want, what, what you want to attain, and you already believe that you can, you, that the universe is going to naturally direct you, even though it sounds kind of like, do, 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 do. that's okay that's what it's all about that's what it is and on this fantabulous friday you know what is happening in your world what is something fantabulous that you want to celebrate maybe it's a goal you reached 
<laughs> maybe it's something you didn't foresee happening like you started out on on that path but it directed you your journey led you to something different which was even more mind-blowing has that ever happened oh i'm sure it has it mm -hmm. happened to all of you out there if you really think about it i know we can relate to it but more importantly we want you to believe that mm -hmm. because you really have a lot more power within you to uh say the no's grasp onto the yes and really kind of decipher like where do i want to go and do i want to take people and have people around surround myself with people that are going to cheer me on or am I going to recognize that, you know what, somebody are not going to be on board with this and that is okay. You don't have to get mad at them. You don't have to snub them. You don't have to say, mm, you don't believe in me. You just kind of like, okay, gently let that go. And when you start doing it like that and focusing on where you want to go with positive vibes, you're going to be surprised and you're going to be having a lot of fantabulous Fridays to celebrate you. That is absolutely true. And on that note, we are, I think we may be taking a power walk. Who knows? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I got to get my bands, yeah. my bands on. And busy day. Yeah, busy, busy day. And, and we love being busy. We love being creative. And on that note, my name is Janice, a.k.a. Love is Diva 5.0. And I am with two sisters. And this is Carol, so a.k.a. Naughty Boss live from North Haven, excited to be up in New England, but we wish you a fantabulous Friday. Keep that positive vibe going all through the weekend. We'll see you again for Monday Mindset. Take care, everyone. Bye, Bye everyone.